Eat delicious and lose weight with Chef Pachi. Hi, this is Chef Pachi, and today I have an amazing video on how to buy your greens. I get them from a farm, but I've gone to a supermarket here in Panama to show you a little more of what I get. I make these great and delicious salads easily because I usually buy two cruciferous vegetables, two leafy greens or a leafy green mix, and some extra vegetables that you're gonna see. Now here we get them in packages and also in bunches. They are amazing. The butter bibs, all the sorts of red lettuce, the dandelion greens, the char that you just saw red. They are beautiful and amazing. The kale, I always wash and dry and remove the stem just when I am ready to use it. Remember to always dry your greens very well. If you want to put them ready with your salad in the fridge, place them in a container over a paper towel. But the best thing to do is put that paper towel on top of a rack. That way, if some water was left in your greens, they will not damage any of the greens. Then you can also add some of your vegetables. Here I have some sliced carrots, some sliced bell peppers, and I could add any other like raw cauliflower or cabbage or any mix that I have. Try to add them as dry as possible. You can just cover them like this if you're gonna use them for the day. And what I do is that I create a big bowl so I have my salad for lunch and dinner at once. When I have my extra vegetables that they come, because they come from the farm, like I said, every Thursday, I wrap them in paper towels before I place them in the fridge. That way, they're gonna last up to two weeks. Sprouts. Sprouts are amazing for your metabolism and for your digestion. They are great. And they last for a whole week. You don't even have to get them out of the package. They sit there and they are already perfect when you want to use them. Broccoli sprouts, fenugreek sprouts, alfalfa sprouts, all kinds of sprouts are now available in markets. Enjoy them, they're really easy to do. Arugula, a cruciferous vegetable, is the one that lasts the least in the fridge. So when you buy it, use it as soon as you can. That way you'll have fresh, beautiful arugula and you will enjoy the best of its properties. Dandelion greens. Dandelion greens are something that are amazing. Dry them very well before you place them in the fridge. So now, what do I do? Okay, did you guys really wash them well? Oh yeah. yeah. Like inside out, no dirt? Yes. Yeah? yeah. Let's stick my hand in there, I won't collect dirt. Right? They are rough and tough and great, and they are very easy to wash and dry. Now we have some baby bibs. I love them because they are small and you can use half for a plate and the plate will look beautiful. Decorate them with some cheese, some feta cheese, some beautiful olives and colorful vegetables. It will be amazing. And these are the sturdiest of all our leafy greens. They last for the whole week, no problem. And of course you can use them for more than Caesar salad. Here we have some celery and it is very good. It is not a cruciferous vegetable. It is crunchy and great for your metabolism. And you can add it to salads. It is delicious and it's not a leafy green like our asparagus here, but I saw them when I was at the market and I wanted to give you this little hint. Asparagus keep best in a 
little bit of water, just half an inch or so. That way they'll be fresh the whole week. Stand them on an empty glass, and then afterwards, when you're ready to cook them, remove the woody stems. That way they'll cook perfectly and delicious. Now here we also have more leafy greens. Enjoy a different one every time you buy. That way you won't get bored. Your salads will look different every time. And remember to keep them wrapped in paper towels. Now we have some leeks. I love to buy leek every week because I use the top green parts that I roast for many of my soups and the bottoms I cook. And you can also roast the tops and make them crunchy and crispy and add them to your salads. This is something you can do when you're a salad master. You are gonna love it. Green onions are something that I also add sometimes to salads, especially to stronger flavor salads because they are great together, like with some kale or with some radicchio or with some of those tart salads. In Panama, we used to only get cauliflower and broccoli. They can be a great part of a salad and you can put them raw or you can just add some hot steaming water on top of them and they'll be perfect in your salads. Enjoy them anytime you can. Cruciferous vegetables are fantastic. If you eat them raw, they're gonna help your metabolism and you can eat all of them different kinds of colors, raw or lightly cooked. Herbs, I have an amazing trick for you. I love them, I add them to everything. But we can do two things. We can process them like you're gonna see right now and put them in containers to refrigerate or freeze. Or when they come in these plastic containers, all you have to do is open them and leave them open in your fridge. Check this out. These were thyme, and I just opened the thyme container, left it open in the fridge, and every time I want to use it now, it is perfectly dry. But it's home dried and fresh, and the taste is amazing. So check out the videos on how I process all my herbs. I actually do it once a month. Process some, leave some in the fridge, and I never waste any herbs. And I don't have to go back again and again to buy vegetables or herbs. My kale is something I love. Two things that I use the most in my breakfast are kale and spinach. Those are some of my favorite quick steaming veggies that I add to breakfast. Here, I'm adding spinach, and two minutes later, not more than two minutes, I have this beautiful, amazing, dark green spinach. I have this beautiful and amazing dark green spinach, and it's perfect. You can do it for many dishes like that. It keeps its shape and also a lot of their vitamins and minerals, they just don't go into the water. You keep them in your vegetables. Now let's put together a salad in a container. That way you can create your salad for the day and then you can take some of it out and take it to the office. Just place a paper towel in the bottom just like you do with your regular salad. This is gonna help keep it better. And then add the vegetables you want, the leafy greens, and that's it. Remember to take your dressing on the side. Don't place the dressing with the greens because they're gonna wilt. And then you have an amazing salad. You could even have some dressing made and left at the office if you have a space in the fridge where you can do it. And just take your leafy greens every day in a nice container like this. And check it out, we push them inside 
so that the container is not that big and I can put it in my backpack and no problem. It is super easy to do. Check that out. I press them in and they are perfect, beautiful. Look at this. Close that container and that's it. Beautiful salad, ready to go. You can even take two if you want to take today and tomorrow's and just save some time. Now we are going to show you how I keep them at home for three days. I make larger containers and I put all of my greens, generally I separate them like push the greens, the two different greens, the cruciferous and the other leafy greens to the side and add the vegetables also to another side and that way I can pick a little bit of each which is not what I did with the office because I'm going to eat the whole salad. Check out how fast I make a salad with mustard greens and kale, two delicious cruciferous leafy greens that are going to help me eat, like Dr. Kavai says, any carb and I'm not going to gain weight. A little bit of a dried apple that I dried at home just make sure the dry fruit you eat has no sugar. Some beautiful bell pepper sticks. You can add some carrot sticks. Any vegetable that you have cut and sliced and left in your container. Like this, that's a salad. Greens, colored vegetables, and a fruit. Using leafy greens is as simple as washing, drying, storing, and enjoying. Then add a beautiful dressing to them you can add some fat like avocados, nuts and seeds, and you can also add tomatoes. You can add raw onions if you want, some pickled onions, some fruit. A salad is greens and colored vegetables with anything you want to. If you want to make it a complete meal, all you have to do is add some protein. You can add some tuna or some salmon, which you can also take to the office in a container already cooked and on a separate container with your dressing. You can add the dressing to your salmon, your tuna, your chicken, and that way you only have to take two containers, one with the dressing and the protein and the other one with your salad. The avocado, by the way, you would place with the dressing and the protein and the nuts you would place with the dry ingredients. Also, if you have chickpeas, like I just did here, you would add them with the dressing, the protein, and the avocado. That is, wet ingredients on one container, dry ingredients and the other. And you can make your amazing and fantastic lunches at the office anytime in seconds. Remember, with Chef Pachi, delicious food, amazing food.